So welcome back to a very special episode as brought to you by the Learn It channel. Today we're going to be talking about the finalist for our parametric tire contest. If you haven't watched the tutorials yet, I highly recommend them. You will learn an absolute ton of information in those tutorials. And many of you have commented how much you've benefited from them. Those tutorials help to teach a new way of thinking, a new way of 3D modeling, and hopefully will make your life easier as you go throughout the 3D modeling process. So before we proceed, we need your help with this contest. I have narrowed it down to four finalists. Now for the four finalists, we need your vote on which one you think is best. As you can see on the screen though, we've got seven tires right now. While three will not be entering as finalists because, well, their parameters break or something is not correct with the design. However, I'd like to show them all to everyone because they are really well designed. So let's just take you on a tour, first of all, of each tire. So AS, thank you so much for your submission. Beautiful design, beautiful model, excellently done. Let's go to BH here. Oh, Sputnik rocket. There we go. Intricate tread design. Everything looks great. Very well done. Let's go over to DP. Oh, we've got the tire. He has based it off of my name. The tire, very clever. Fun design with the tread here. Very good. Let's go to WH. Oh, we've got a little bit of color. The tire. Okay, this looks pretty cool here. Excellent. I like how you've changed the color. You've gotten away from the standard rubber color. Let's go to DC. Daniel's tire. Amazing job, Daniel. Oh, this has got a nice pattern in the tread. Very, very good. Let's go to MS Max's tire. Now this one is extraordinarily nice with the design. And I like how Max has actually put a little plug in for the channel. Let's see if I can find it here. Oh, there we go. And he put that in there, everyone, not me. And let's go to HP. Look at the tread design here. Now HP actually contacted me North Star X Learn It. Very good. And he asked if he could include the logo. Now to try and parametrically control the dimensions or the shape of the logo is no easy feat. So HP, thank you so much for your design. So sadly, starting with HP, we won't be including or entering your design into the finalists for a couple reasons. First of all, let's talk about the good aspects of it. The tread pattern is awesome. However, the tread breaks with the first parameter change. And the text hasn't been patterned around the tire as well. So obviously the other tires have the text pattern around the tire. Let's just show you what happens when I change one parameter here. So let's change your rim diameter to 24 inches. There you can see we get two warnings, one error. The tread ends up disappearing into the inside of the tire. So unfortunately, just with one parameter change, if we get an error like that, we have to disqualify you from the finalist. But you did an amazing job. And let's just make sure I'm going to just check to see if you added parametric text. Oh, you have added it. That is great. Now, if you haven't watched the tutorial on parametric text yet, you will learn a ton with that. You can see that the information for the tire will change according to our parameters here. So anyways, awesome, awesome design, but sorry, HP, we will have to move on. So now let's go to MS. You have done an incredible job with the tread pattern. The tread pattern looks amazing. Now your parameters work very well as well. A couple of reasons why we won't include you with the finalist is, well, first of all, your timeline is much longer than the others, which has made the processing time very slow. Now you've also forgotten the parametric text. 
Unfortunately, there's nothing in our parametric text dialog, and you haven't patterned the text along the sidewall of your tire. So, well, I believe that the tread pattern is one of the finest entries of this contest. We're sorry, but we won't be able to include you with the finalists. Now let's go over to Daniel's tire, DC. So Daniel's tire here, incredible. Let's just talk about the pros first of all of this. The tread pattern is really cool. I like how you've included the little slots right here. It's a nice design element, very, very nice. When we add little touches like that to our design, it makes it more realistic. However, some of the reasons why we won't include this with the finalist is, oh, well, let's get rid of that. Let's go to our parametric text. There is no parametric text as well. So unfortunately, that's a big deduction in points. Also, you haven't revolved or you haven't patterned your text along the sidewalls of the tire. However, another point of commendation is a well-organized timeline. Remember, processing speed increases or is faster when we have fewer items on our timeline. This shows that you have an excellent ability to organize each facet or each tool within your design and control it very well. So thank you, DC, but unfortunately, we will have to not include you with the finalists. So now let's move on to the four finalists here. This tire scored quite high on my rating. It includes parametric text, which we'll see in a second how that works. I'm just gonna bring the tire off to the side here and going to rotate it so that we see the parametric text in action and we can see the tread pattern change as well. So some other things I really like about this first, it is much more complicated for the tread pattern. However, there's a couple things that I noted that could be improved. First of all, the sidewall here, we don't have a blend or we don't have that cut out so that it's a smooth sidewall. Now, some tires do not have a smooth sidewall, but I think in this instance, it would be incredibly hard to produce if that was the actual shape of our tire. And one other thing I've noticed is the text has a bug. We'll see that come up in a little bit. And if there was no bug, this would score extra points, but it's still a great design and it will be included with the finalist for sure. So let's just go to the parameters and change a couple of them. So as long as we can change these three, well, it's good. It scores very high on our point system. So let's change each one. I'm not gonna talk, we'll just show it and then uh, go from there. So we'll just change one at a time. So you can see that I've adjusted each of those parameters. Nothing is broken in our model. And remember for the parametric text to update, we have to press okay. However, we get an alarm here, parametric text version 2.3.0. There is a bug right here. Now this bug can easily be fixed, but unfortunately it hasn't been fixed. So it's, well, I don't think it's gonna update. Let's see if it updates. No, it doesn't update for us. So it's not like we're gonna deduct points here for the bug but it would have been nice if that bug would have been fixed ahead of time. So excellent design. One other thing I would probably suggest is because we've made a parameter, I've noticed this with each of the submissions, because we've made a parameter for all aspects of the tire, well, one thing that I taught in previous tutorials is that here we have the text height, and we've got text small, text large, it would have been nice to see these as equations as well. Now, remember in the tutorials that I've taught, I did these as static numbers. However, seeing them as equations would have been a lot better that way. As the tire expands or gets bigger, well, the text would grow with the tire as well. However, excellent, we're not gonna deduct any points. So before we proceed, let's look at your tread design, your sketch, and we'll just hide the main body there. Let's zoom in. Oh, very good, very, very good. So the only issue is one line is not fully constrained. So that would have been nice if we included a constraint with that. Remember, if we don't constrain and we adjust our parameters, that's often what breaks first. 
so I'm surprised that this tire hasn't broken yet. But because it hasn't, you are in as a finalist. So great job, WH. Now let's go to DP. Again, this is an excellent design. I like the intricacies of the tread pattern. It's a fun pattern. I like the tire. It's a nice uh, play on for the name of it. Again, on my name. Let's just check the parametric text. Yes, you've got them right there. Beautiful. So let's see them in action. We're going to adjust each parameter again and see what happens. So there we have it. All three parameters that we've changed have done a fine job. They haven't broken at all. Now, some of you might be wondering, well, why don't I just uncheck automatic update here, adjusting all three expressions and then hit OK. Well, I could do that. However, changing all these parameters in one shot uses so much of our processing power that sometimes Fusion ends up giving up on us. So that's why I only change one expression at a time just to give the processor a little chance to breathe. So remember, once we change our expressions, let's see if the text will update correspondingly. We have to press OK first and give it a couple seconds. OK, very good. As you can see, it is adjusted to our current parameters. Now we've got a couple alarms down here. Let's just review those warnings. Well, one pattern source is lost. Oh, over here, yes. Yeah, and the other one too. So, okay, we've got a minor issue here, but it still looks great to me. So good job, DP. Let's just go to your sketch as well. Let's hide the body. And let's take a look at your sketch here. Very, very, very good. Okay, so look at this. We've got everything constrained except for these two lines. So that would have been nice to have seen an angle there or something. You could have probably... Now you could have probably created an angle here to keep it at 45 degrees, bisecting the other angle there. However, still very good design. So thank you so much. Very, very good. Let's go back here. Thank you, DP. Let's go over to BH. The Sputnik Rocket. So let's just take another look at this again. Marvelous design. Now the tread pattern is simple but intricate. Now, because this doesn't break, this is very impressive. Let's just pull this off to the side again. I'm going to show the tire information because that's what will adjust or update with the text being parametrically controlled. So let's just adjust our parameters as usual and see what happens. So, so far this is excellent. The tire hasn't broken. The only thing that I see, and again, I mentioned this before, but our text right here on the sidewall, uh, because it's parametrically controlled, obviously, as we brought down the rim diameter, the aspect ratio, uh, if the text was parametrically controlled as an equation with its height, over here, we've got text height s, text height. If these were parametrically controlled with an equation, the text would not be interrupting each other over here. So anyways, it's a minor issue, but that would have been nice to have seen that parametrically controlled as an equation. Now, again, I didn't include this with the original tutorial, so I was hoping that someone would have done that. It would have given them extra points, but it's not a big issue at all. Let's just see if the parametric text works. So there we have it. As you saw, the text just updated, which is awesome to see. Now, just to touch on some other finer aspects or the good aspects that I think that this tire has, it is a little bit more complicated than the others. The pattern is not easy to design. We're going to look at the sketch in a moment. The edges are finished over here. They're not extending off the side. The timeline is excellent and the processing is a lot faster than the other tires. So generally the processing speeds up when our timeline is well organized. When we have created the model in the right pattern or with the right tools in the right order. And we've just done an overall good job. So this tire has a lot of good aspects to it. Let's just take a look at our sketch. 
Again, we're going to hide our main body. Let's take a look over here. So look at this, fully constrained. Everything is perfectly constrained. We've got tread gaps as well. Now I forgot to mention that these are also parametrically controlled. Excellent job. Very nice to see something that's fully parametrically controlled and constrained. Good job, BH. Now let's go over to AS. So again, let's talk about the pros here. We've got a fairly complicated tread pattern. The timeline is beautiful, very short, very well organized. Now the treads are overhanging from on the sidewall here, which isn't necessarily a bad thing, but this could actually be produced in a factory. And it would be a little bit more difficult to do so, but it looks great, good job. So now let's see how it holds up under the test of controlling or adjusting the parameters. So there we go. As you can see, all three parameters that we've just changed have held up. The tire has not broken. The parameters have not broken. Excellent, excellent job. Now I've just realized that I didn't quite explain something clearly about the text height. So yes, these are actually parametrically controlled. We have parameters for them, but they don't have equations attached to them. So probably what I would suggest is as the sidewall is affected by both the rim diameter and the aspect ratio, you could do a percentage of either of them. For example, our rim diameter, we could do, let's say 5%, 5% of the rim diameter or 10% or what would it be here? Anyways, we could pick something, a percentage, so that as the ratio, the aspect ratio is smaller, well, the text will get a little smaller as well. And that way they'll never overlap each other. But great job, AS. And now let's see if your parametric text holds up. And again, we should see these expressions come through on our sidewall. Let's see. And there we have it. The parametric text has updated. You've done an amazing job over here with your parameters. Very, very good modeling, AS. Excellent design. Let's just take a look at your tread pattern as well. Oh, very nice. So everything is fully constrained. You did an amazing job. Thank you for the submission and it will be one of our finalists as well. So now it comes down to our viewers. Which one of these four tires do you think wins first prize? And remember, first prize is going to win some merchandise from one of our stores. So. If you think this tire should win first prize, please type AS in the comments below. If you think Sputnik Rocket should win first prize, type BH in the comments below. What about DP? The tire. If you think this should be in first place, well, type DP in the comments below. If you think tire should win first prize, well, type WH in the comments below. If you have benefited at all from these tutorials, if you're enjoying this content, we would really appreciate if you were to consider liking, subscribing, hitting that notification bell. If you love our channel, please consider becoming a member, which helps our channel in an immense way. All submissions should be entered before December 8th, 2023, after which we will post the winner on our community tab on our YouTube channel. So hope you're all doing well. Look forward to seeing you with the next tutorial and thank you again for learning with the Learn It channel.